Hey, what's up folks, Victor with Fallen Arena here bringing you a quick unboxing of the Sony Xperia XZ and that's Sony's brand new flagship device. It comes with a new design, a 5.2 inch display and let's unwrap it and see what it's all about. This device features a 5.2 inch Full HD 1080p display and it features a brand new Alkalido metal on the back which is shinier, uh, looks more eye-catchy and overall the device feels very solid in the hand at first sight and here's what it has on the side there is a very prominent lock power key but let's unbox it first and see what else is in the box before taking a look at the phone itself. Now first we have uh, what seems like some literature right here in this box and underneath you can see that there is a wall plug here's the sony literature uh, a wall plug that charges the phone and this is one of the first sony phones to feature usb-c for charging and you also get a cable uh, that is a standard usb to usb-c for charging and syncing the device and that's all that's in the box uh, you have the phone of course uh, the charging cable and let's power it up and see what it's all about see the boot animation saying X, Xperia X series. Now the XZ is uh, a new line of a flagship that uh, Sony is pushing with the XZ moniker. And let's quickly set up the phone, set up the Wi-Fi, the password, all typical Android stuff. We'll fast forward through it and now set, let's set up the fingerprint scanner. Now keep in mind that the US model might and most likely will not have a fingerprint scanner on the site as the international version. Our guess is that this has something to do with patents, but that's what it is. It's downside, um, but uh, it is what it is and on the back you can see once again the Alkalido metal finish, a brand new 23 megapixel camera with a, a triple new camera technology that will uh, bring hybrid autofocus with both um, predictive autofocus, something typical for Sony, as well as the laser autofocus which is new in this model. You also have USB-C on the bottom. And the phone is rather chubby in the hand, uh, measures around 8.1 millimeters, weighs around 160 grams, so um, not the lightest or the thinnest phone of phones out there. There's also no curves. There's a, this new loop design on the side that makes it a bit more ergonomic, but nothing like a curve on the back. And here's what the interface looks like. Nothing changed, but still looks fairly clean, very, very clean take on a stock Android, runs Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and with some custom Sony additions like the Sony album app, music, and so on. And scroll down from the top, you get the uh, quick toggle settings. And once again, let's see more information about the phone Android 6.0. Here's the uh, little animation that comes with it. What else do we have here? Let's take a look at the gallery app and stay tuned for our full on uh, uh, review of the Xperia XZ that's coming up soon. Also have those typical Sony style wallpapers. And under the hood, we have the Snapdragon 820 system chip. So, so this should be flagship grade in terms of performance. And there's also the 23 megapixel camera. Up front, you have a 13 megapixel snapper. So how do you like what you see in the Sony Xperia XZ? Uh, what do you think about this new design? Do you like it or not? Sony promises some improvements to the battery longevity over the long term. So that's something that we'll look forward to if we'll try to test it somehow to see if we can measure this. And uh, the display looks pretty nice overall. The phone feels pretty fast at first sight. You have some standard Google apps preloaded and that's it. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. As always, thanks for watching.